Okay, so um, I can give an update. So we did a full cassette, um, and I was really worried because I was hearing this really loud popping sound coming from the speakers of the cassette. So I will admit that it had me worried. Um, but it seems like it copied the audio onto the thumb drive completely fine. Um, I you know, put it into the computer and it played all 60 minutes of it. This, supposedly, you know, there's a bunch of these in the market and they don't really always have um, good ratings because something like this, they're still perfecting. And so I will show you guys up close what this looks like. Um, but it's, ew. <laughs> Hold on, there's um, let me see, this, this one is a little scratched up, it actually looks like this was used. So this one looks like someone might have returned it because it's all scratched up on the sides and the top. Alright, um, so we'll see if this works, maybe it didn't work and they had a ret someone returned it. Um, let's go ahead. So this is it, you know, it fits in your hand. Got buttons on the back. You got a USB right there. Volume here. You press, let's see, you slide this down and it opens up and you put your cassette tape in here. So that's it. Um, I was hoping it came with a USB, but apparently it doesn't. So luckily we have a USB. Pop this open and the batteries go in here. So, all right guys, stay tuned. Okay, so um, I can give an update. So we did a full cassette um, and I was really worried because I was hearing this really loud popping sound coming from the speakers of the cassette. So I will admit that it had me worried, um, but it seems like it copied the audio onto the thumb drive completely fine. Um, I you know put it into the computer and it played all 60 minutes of it. Um, I didn't hear any pops in the music. It's just you know low quality, and that's because the cassette wasn't that good quality. So with a little bit of audio editing, I can make the bass better and all that stuff. Um, so it worked. I mean, it, it was having pops from the speaker, so I don't know if it was just my speaker setup or what was the issue, but I can say it works for what I want it for, and that's digital wise on uh, my cassettes. So, with that being said, I am happy 